So, as the Prime Minister has said, uh, there are five tests that the government has laid down uh, for adjusting the lockdown. And what I'd like to do is just go through some of the data in terms of the epidemic and so show you where we are. Next slide, please. So, the R is below one. We think it's between 0.6 and 0.9 across the um, nation. Maybe a little lower in some places, a little higher in others, but it's below one across the country. This shows the number of new cases, but as I've said before, this only really shows in the blue the cases in hospital, and then in the orange the cases that have been tested outside, so it's not the total number of cases. We know that the total number of cases is on its way down. You can see in the blue bars here that the number in hospital, you can see, is coming down, and of course the orange bars represent others who've been tested, including essential workers. But the number of infections will be coming down, Next slide, please. This turns into a reduction in hospital admissions for COVID. And this is the NHS data, so this is England-only data. But what you can see here in the blue is inpatients newly diagnosed with COVID, and in the orange is new inpatients with confirmed COVID at the time of admissions. So these are new admissions into hospital. And you can see very clearly from the 20th of March, there was a rise up to a peak somewhere at the beginning of April, and now it's come down. So the number of cases is coming down. Hospital admissions are coming down. Next slide, please. And that, of course, translates into the number of people in hospital with COVID. And this shows the data uh, uh, across, um, uh, across uh, um, the, the nations and in different regions. You can see very clearly uh, the decrease in the number of people in hospital in London. You can see a slightly flatter situation in some other places. We need to make sure and to stick with what we're doing in order to get the R down further to continue to keep it down and to make sure that the number of people in hospital comes down right the way across the nation. But you can see the trend here to decrease. That in turn leads to the question of how do you get the critical care beds down and again when you look right the way across England, Northern Ireland, Wales and Scotland the number of patients in critical care and those on ventilators, is coming down right the way across. It's coming down slowly, as you would expect, but it's on its way down. Next slide, please. And that, in turn, starts to lead to the decrease in deaths. And here you can see uh, the number of deaths in all settings. So this isn't just hospital. This is across all settings. And you can see it's gradually beginning to come down. It's not coming down as fast as it went up, and I've said before, I expect there to be a bit of a plateau stage here before things really come down further, but you can see it's on its way down. Final slide, please. And again, this is the comparison. It's difficult to actually uh, look at exactly what this means because people record things differently, but the message is R is down, the number of new cases is down, that's turning into fewer admissions, fewer people in hospital, fewer people in intensive care, and we're beginning to see that decrease in deaths. Thank you.